So let's just get through the work. We get our work done and then we're all set. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is we're going to, ah, what am I talking about? Okay. Um, basically what I'm going to do is we are going to discuss um, what exactly is scientific notation as well as how to um, kind of write scientific notation or write it out as a decimal or as a um, whole number. All right. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, scientific notation is a times 10 to an nth power where a is going to be greater than or equal to 1 and or, I'm sorry, less than 9. I'm sorry, less than 10. But it cannot equal to 10, all right? So it has to be a number between 1. It can be equal to 1, but between 1 and less than 10. It cannot be equal to 10. This is very, very important. A lot of students are going to make this mistake, especially at this point in time when they're not paying attention and writing that down. It's very, very important because there's going to be opportunities when we're going to do this. It's, you're going to get an A that's not, not like 11, and you're going to have to rewrite it into scientific notation. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, what scientific represents is I have two examples that are in scientific notation. And one of the things that we'll be talking about today is, again, how to rewrite them out into, their, um, into number form. So basically, all the scientific notation means is we have this point A, which is between 1 and 10, right? And then basically what we're doing is multiplying it by 10. Now, when you guys think about this, er, in, early into your days of mathematics, when you said 5 times 10, we know that just gave us 50. Right? And when we did 5 times 100, you just added the zeros at the end. Correct? Does everybody follow me? So this is just a very easy way for us to be able to say that is the same thing. Because 100 squared, or 10 squared is 100. It's charging, right? Oh, oh, it's done charging. OK. So you put it away. There you go. Okay. So that's a good point. Um, so do you guys understand how this is the exact same thing? OK. So basically, just a way to think about this, ladies and gentlemen, is when I am multiplying by 10, I'm just adding zeros. I'm moving the place value over to the right. So <coughs> Harris, when I have to multiply this by 10 to the fourth, basically all I'm going to do is take my decimal point and move it over 1, 2, 3, 4 place values. And then for these missing place values, I'm going to put in 0. Okay. When I have a negative, I am going to be moving my place value to the left, just like dividing by 100. You're just moving the place value to the left. So in this case, I'm going to move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then again, to represent all these place values, I'm going to use 0. So my final answer is 0. 0.1234322. Capiche?